Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Finally, we're here. Finally, with a big icon right now. Quite a big icon. I paid premium price for this guy 1.267 million. And listen, this is look, we're looking at El Butre, the vulture today. Emilia Butre Gueno. Three star, five star combination with a medium low work rate. This card is absolutely incredible. I've been a huge fan of Butra since FIFA 20, and this guy has always stuck by me, and I've always loved him. He scores some of the most sensational goals. You look at him, he's very diminutive, very small. I think he's about 5'6", but he generates so much power in both feet, it's incredible. He's got that 5-star weak foot, which makes him very unpredictable. And I tell you what, his attack positioning is brutal. He's got lethal attack positioning and lethal finishing. And you can see here, whether the goalkeeper is in his right place or not, I know he's called him out. It doesn't matter. That ball's going at the back of the net. No no problem. No, no problem whatsoever. His attack positioning is lethal as well. He's just such a good card. This guy, this guy's dubbed the vulture for a reason. Because he's just he's just hunting for that goal. He really is. He's he's a true poacher. But on top of everything. What makes this card really good is not only has he got ridiculous pace, ridiculous attack positioning, five-star weak foot. He's got really good passing for an icon striker. He's got really nice dribbling. His dribbling is some of the best in the game. Now, I can't emphasize more how important running, running and pressing R1 is. Just the R1 dribbling with running at the same time. Emilio Butragueno is the best at that. I've not, I'm not used an icon since who feels as slick as him on the ball. His agility and balance is perfection indeed. This is a card that will absolutely dismantle you. He will capitulate you to an extent where a lot of people rage quit against him. He's such a good card. And I'll tell you guys something, one thing I've seen. He gets a lot of late goals and it shows you how good his stamina is and how good his pace is. But he gets a lot of late goals and I'll tell you why. This is a card you have to watch for the entire duration of the match. He's so quick. He's so deceptive. Once he's through, he's lightning quick and he smashes that ball at the back of the net. I would just say this. Yes, there are noticeable weaknesses about this card. I agree he's got three-star skills, which for a skiller, that's not ideal. However, the way he feels on the ball, his, his agility and balance, his incredible dribbling, and the, and the fact that he's got almost every single virtue when it comes to fini finishing. He's got the chip shot, he's got the finesse, he's got incredible power shots as well. He can finish anywhere on that pitch. So look, when it comes to finishing, he's class. I would say this is the one card where I don't really care if he had skills or not. Of course, if he had skills, even better. Even better if. However, in this case, this guy is one of them kind of icons. I think, you know what? It's all right. He's got three star skills. It's fine. He makes up with his incredible ability to turn, his, his agility, his balance, his dribbling. And then he's weak. Them are the two things that you can diss this card. And after that, you've got nothing else on him. You've literally got nothing else. You can't provide anything else to me what's wrong with this card oh yeah okay maybe heading he's not the best he's not going to be the best at heading the ball but if he gets a volley that he's going to smash that ball at the back of the net overall a brilliant card i loved using him he was sensational and he's been sensational in fifa for a very very long time even though this is a new game es efc 24 i don't care you can put him in any game he's incredible 9.2 out of 10 what a card thank you very much